Hi there, and a warm welcome to Projects Academy's Design for Six Sigma. Now you may be already familiar with our Lean Six Sigma Masterclass, which provides you with a method for taking existing processes, products, or services and improving them. This is based on a methodology called DMAIC, standing for Design, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control, and is there for when you want to improve existing processes. But what about where you don't have an existing process or product or service, rather you want to create one? Well, that's where DMADV comes in. I'm sorry, there's not a nice way of saying that. But you'll see that it stands for define, measure, analyze, and it's the last two steps that are different, design and verify. And in this set of six video modules, this being the first, I should be providing you with an overview of define, measure, analyze, design, and verify. So by way of comparison and reference, let's you and I start by looking at the existing DMAIC process, forming part of our Lean Six Sigma Masterclass. Here's what it stands for, define, measure, analyze, improve, and control, where the design phase identifies what the problem is and describes what needs to be improved because DMAIC is used for existing processes, products, or services. The measure then goes on to describe the problem more effectively by gathering facts and data in order to understand how such processes, products, or services work and perform. The analyze step uses those facts and data to determine the root causes of the problem or problems. As you might gather, the improve is to identify potential solutions to the problem go on to select the most suitable of those solution options and then test or pilot it to validate that your choice was indeed the best. Finally, control is then implement the solution and continue to use data to check the level of performance improvement. So that's DMAIC. And if you want to learn to become a green belt or practitioner level, then do check out our Lean Six Sigma Masterclass. So having stated that, let's now look at what is known as design for Six Sigma. Get used to this DFSS, that's the way it would normally be written. As I've said at the outset, these six video modules are an overview, but act as a companion to our Projects Academy Lean Six Sigma Masterclass. Now Lean Six Sigma, as I've said, uses the DMAIC method, whereas DFSS uses the DMADV method. Define, measure, analyze, design, and verify. So DMAIC is used to improve existing processes, products or services, but sometimes such a process does not exist. So you need a method to create new processes, products and services. And it may be, for example, that your current process is so poor that scrapping it and starting again makes more sense. So you can design products and services and the processes that support them that will delight your customers. And as you might imagine, with very high customer involvement from the very start of your project. So DMADV will help introduce new products and services quickly and to a consistently high standard. However, when designing a new product or service, there may not be a customer yet. So instead, we focus on the demands of the potential marketplace. Where the customer is involved, this means both end user customers, internal business stakeholders, and the users themselves. So customer requirements and the resulting CTQs, that stands for critical to quality. Again, I go into this in great detail in our Lean Six Sigma Masterclass. These are established early on. And in this case, when designing for Six Sigma, the DMADV framework ensures that these requirements are satisfied in the ultimate final product, service, or process that your project will deliver. So as with DMAIC, we manage by facts and not speculation in order to ensure that new designs reflect customers critical to quality metrics and provide real value to the customers. And if we look to compare both of these methods, DMADV projects are more resource hungry than DMAIC projects in terms of the people involved, IT involvement and cost. However, despite these higher costs and risks, DMADV projects bring higher rewards. Now in large organizations using Lean Six Sigma, just using a typical example, let's say 
20 DMAIC projects will likely be carried out for every one DMAD-V project. In other words, DMAIC is more often needed and used because there are likely to be many lean projects and a moderate number of DMAIC projects and a very few DFSS projects as your organization gradually reduces rework and waste, improves process flow and the reduction of cycle times. Design for Six Sigma often concentrates on the delighter curve in the Kano model. Here's a little graphic here showing you what it looks like. And there's the delighter curve. Again, the Kano model is covered in detail in our Lean Six Sigma masterclass. So DMAV projects are normally used to introduce radical change within an organization. Here it is going around this loop here. So it is important that you have a change management framework in place in order to address and manage the various people issues that are so important for the successful completion of your project. So there we have it, a nice brief overview in Module 1 of DMAIC and DMADV projects. Do join me in Module 2, where I will be covering in more detail the define phase and the measure phase of a Design for Six Sigma project. So until then, from me, Dave Litton, it's bye for now.